59. Just one minute. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Can we begin, Prabhu? Yes, Maharaj, we can, Maharaj. Om Magyanat Marandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanjena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Namao Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Ghoravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vanchakaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita nam pavane bio Vaishna bibio namo namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <clears throat> we welcome everyone to our study of the nectar of instruction for the Bhakti Shastri. So uh, let's just look over the uh, outline what's happening here in this nectar of instruction. Rupa Goswami's first seven texts, first seven verses, they were all describing Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, devotional service according to rules and regulations. We had, of course, that was very clear in the beginning. The first verse control, was describing the urges and then we had all the second verse, what happens if the urges are not controlled, the results of not conquering over these urges, the problems which come. Then text 3, Rupa Goswami gave us the positive aspect, the things we should be cultivating, which will really help us in our devotion. Then text 4 was describing loving exchanges something which is also very important in our Krishna Consciousness Movement. Prabhupada personally taught by his example, the loving ex and also we're seeing a lot of it going on in our movement today. Very nice. And then text 5 was describing different devotees. We heard about the, the Kanista and the Madhyam and the Uttama. We heard about these different devotees and how to relate to them, how to, we should respect these different devotees in different ways according to their positions. We heard about the Uttama Adhikari. Then text number six was describing the importance of not looking at the external features of the devotee. Remember the example was given about the Ganges being full of bubbles, foam and mud, but the devotee will still take bath without considering all these things. And so the external features are not important. What's important is the internal nature. Then text 7 described about the chanting of the holy name. And if we don't have taste for the holy name, we should understand this to be due to our jaundice. 
the condition of attachment to material life. So we spoke about all these things. Now we're going on to text number eight and it's a bit of a change from what we've been talking about because previously it was all Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti. But now we're going to hear about what Rupa Goswami describes as the uh, Upadesha Saram, right? This is Upadesha Amrita and the text number eight he describes the Upadesha Saram, the essence of all advice. And he's talking about Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti. Raganuga Sadhana Bhakti, which is something, you know, we may think, well, is it relevant today? Is it for ISKCON? So we'll see. We've got some quotes. I've got some PowerPoint. Uh, let me just go in. Oh, wait. Have to share the screen, right? Yeah. Screen sharing. Oh, host. Prabhu, can I share share the screen? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, I'm still not approved to share the screen. Host Sisi. Chidanand Prabhu, you are the host. Can you make it Maharaj as a name? Co-host? Mr. Maharaj, I think you can share now Maharaj. Okay, thank you. Yes, now we got it. Okay, let's start with looking at the text, first of all. Just to make sure you're familiar with the text. Would, would someone like to volunteer read the Sanskrit for us? Yes? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes, go ahead Maharaji. Pranama Rupa Charita Di Sukhita Nano Mrityo Kramena Prasanamana Sevi Yojya Krishtan Vrajetat Anuragi Jana Jana Anugami Kalam Nayeta Kilam Iti Upadesha Saram Yes, very nice translation. You can read. Yes, translation. The essence of all advice is that one should utilize one's full time, 24 hours a day, in nicely chanting and remembering the Lord's divine name, transcendental form, qualities and eternal pastimes, thereby gradually engaging one's tongue and mind. In this way, one should reside in Braja, Goloka Vrindavana Dhamma, and serve Krishna under the guidance of devotees. One should follow in the footsteps of the Lord's beloved devotees who are deeply attached to his devotional service. All right, thank you. So this is the verse Rupa Goswami is asking all of us. The essence of all advice, utilize our time 24 hours a day, nicely chanting and remembering the holy name the form, qualities, pastimes of Krishna, right? So, very good advice, not so easy for us all to follow. We're going to hear about it. Let's see, we have a, a PowerPoint. Can everyone see the PowerPoint? Yes, Maharaj. <clears throat> Would someone like to read for us? Yes, Maharaj. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dandavat Pranam. Effectively advising developing attachment and love, Guru's next most essential order. Despite this disease, if one with great care and attention takes to Krishna consciousness, chanting the holy name and hearing Krishna's transcendental pastimes, his ignorance will be destroyed and his tongue enabled to taste the sweetness the fundamental nature of Krishna 
and his paraphernalia. Nectar of Instruction, text 7, part 4, page 67. Very well, Maharaj. Thank you. So we had, this is the chanting the holy name we spoke in the last class, the, the most important instruction. Right? We want, can everyone hear me okay? Yes, Maharaj, we can hear you. Okay. All right. Yes. Someone read. Yeah, go ahead. Very well, very well, very Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Chaitanya Charitamrita advise those who are nepotized to give all kinds of motivated desires and simply engage in the regulative devotional service of the Lord according to the directions of the scripture. Srila Prabhupada, quoting Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Doctor of Instruction, Text 8, Purport, page 76. Okay. Everyone. So, neophytes, we're beginning, we're neophyte devotees. So, the advice is, give up all kinds of mo motivated desires. That's a challenge. <laughs> we all have a lot of desires. Not easy to give up desires. But, anyway, give them up and simply engage in regulative devotional service according to the direction of the scripture. So this is, again, this is Vaidhisadhana Bhakti, right? According to the rules and regulations, new devotees, neophytes, we're not very advanced. We're not yet up to the Raganuga platform. The spontaneous devotion is for advanced devotees. I was reading Krishna book earlier today. I was reading about Brahma Vimohan Leela and Prabhupada writes there how Lord Brahma was not eligible to do uh, Raganuga Bhakti. He was also on the platform of Vaidhisadhana Bhakti. So Lord Brahma He's in such an exalted position, but even he was not qualified for this. All right, we'll have a Mataji read. Twice born saints by serving those devotees who are completely free from all vice, great service is done. By such service, one gains affinity for hearing the message of Vasudeva, Srimad Bhagavatam 1.2.16. So, very good advice here from Srila Vyasadev. Coming through the, the pen of Vyasadev, it's the teaching of Sutta Goswami. That if we do service for the devotees, it will help us to develop a taste for hearing about Krishna. So doing service, very nice, very important. If we serve Prabhupada, Prabhupada's mission, Prabhupada's society, it helps us to get a taste for hearing topics of Krishna. Right? Someone else like to read? Prabhu can read? Hare Krishna. Yes, go ahead. Nowadays, it seems that many of the older disciples like yourself are having difficulty. If you do not set the example of the younger students and take the responsibility for instructing them in the right line, how will things go on? Try to always study your books and see our philosophy from different lights of direction. Become convinced yourself of this knowledge and without a doubt, all your difficulties of mind will disappear forever and you will see Krishna face to face. Letter to Bhagavadanta, July 8, 1972. So Prabhupada wrote so many letters to devotees encouraging them about reading our books, showing the right example. Very, and here you can see he's giving, he's giving great encouragement. He's saying, 
without a doubt, all your difficulties of mind will disappear forever and you'll see Krishna face to face. Right? You want to see Krishna? You just have to read the books and you can see Krishna. All right, and we have another person read, Prabhu. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. So I want you leaders especially to become very much absorbed in the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam and become yourself completely convinced and free from all doubts. On this platform you shall be able to carry on the works satisfactorily but if there is lack of knowledge or if there is forgetfulness everything will be spoiled in time. So especially you must encourage the students to read our books throughout the day as much as possible and give them all the good advice how to understand the books and inspire them to study the things for every point of view. In this way, by constantly engaging our tongues in the service of the Lord, either by discussing His philosophy or by chanting Hare Krishna, the truth is that Krishna Himself will reveal Himself to us and we shall understand how to do everything properly. Letter to Amsar Dutta, Los Angeles, 2nd June 1972. Okay, so Hansa Dura was one of the leaders of the movement in early years of, in the Prabhupada's time. He played a very important role, helped Prabhupada a lot, did a lot of service. And Prabhupada is in, instructing him here in his letter the importance of reading the books, getting the devotees to understand the books. Huh? It's all important for us. So, so good, so many of you devotees, you people at Bahrain, so many of you are inspired to take these courses and study the books. I know it's not so easy for you, you have a lot of other things to do, you're working in the daytime and to come at night and then to sit and hear classes and to do all the other things, take the tests and write the essays. It's a lot of work, but it's really worth it. It's really got its own rewards. It's very, very valuable for our devotional service. You know, the job, you will retire one day, but devotional service is no retirement. And Krishna consciousness, no retirement, you increase. As we get older, we do more, take on more work. That was Prabhupada's example to us. <clears throat> that Prabhupada was doing more and more and the old, as he got, he didn't reduce, he increased, expanded, took on more. And so like that, understand the philosophy, chant Hare Krishna, all right. Yes? Prabhu can read? Yes? Chant without fail 16 rounds of Hare Krishna mantra daily. Read Srimad Bhagavatam at least one hour daily and in this way without any doubt you will very soon become very happy and your life will be sublime. Letter to Ganga Devi, London, 11th August 1970. So you can see it's a little different from what Rupa Goswami is saying. You know Rupa Goswami is saying 24 hours a day and here Prabhupada is saying 16 rounds and Srimad Bhagavatam one hour daily. And this way, without a doubt, you will soon be done. So Prabhupada, you know, he wasn't asking us to do Raganuga Bhakti, he wasn't expecting us to do that, because this is early years of the Krishna consciousness movement. And he understood the limitations of the devotees. But get them to chant, get them to read. Very nice. So this is an important verse. Someone could read the Sanskrit of this verse. Hare Krishna Maharaj, can I read? Yes, please. Tatam prasangam mama virya samvido bhavanti hitkarna rasabhya kata tejo jasuna dasva bhavarya vartmani shradhara tir bhakti anukram shiya shati in the association of pure devotees, discussion of the pastimes and activities of Krishna is very pleasing and satisfying to the ear and heart. By cultivating such knowledge, one gradually becomes advanced on the path of liberation. 
and days after is freed and his attraction becomes fixed <laughs> then real devotion and uh, oh voice is breaking is it no no i like <clears throat> I am able to see the last line. Oh, then real devotion and devotional service begin. All right. So, Shradhara Tir Bhaktir Anukramishati, Shraddha, we've put there Sadhana, and Rati, Baba, and Bhakti, Prema. And so, these things will follow in time. And so, then this is Lord Kapila, Kapila Shiksha, instructing his mother Devahuti, famous chapter, Prabhupada lectured on it. Teachings, to, teachings of Lord Kapila, that book of Prabhupada's lectures given when he was in Bombay. He lectured on this chapter from the third canto, this very, very important verse, telling us the importance of hearing and how it's pleasing. Want to develop this taste for hearing and topics of Krishna in the association of devotees. Sometimes people don't have the taste, they don't want to sit in the class, they just come for prasadam. <laughs> we have these problems. So it's very good to get devotees together, they're enthusiastic to hear and discuss about Krishna. This is from Prabhupada's purport to the same verse. Can someone read? Non-devotee cannot appreciate Krishna Consciousness by reading the Srimad Bhagavatam or any other Vedic literature, wherein the activities of the Lord are described. They think that these activities are fictional, manufactured stories because spiritual life is not explained to them in the proper mood. To understand the personal activities of the Lord, one has to seek the association of devotees and by such association, when one contemplates and tries to understand the transcendental activities of the Lord, the path to liberation is open and he is freed. One who has firm faith in the Supreme Personality of Godhead becomes fixed and his attention for association with the Lord and the devotees increases. Srimad Bhagavatam 3.25.29 <clears throat> Yes. So I get the same points. Eh? You have to have the association of devotees. Without that association, then it's very difficult. Non devotees, they cannot understand Krishna's pastimes. All right. Just to read the bottom part here, which we've highlighted. This is a famous purport from the first canto, third chapter, the last verse of the third chapter. We often hear this quoted. The secret of knowing Bhagavatam is mentioned here. No one can have, no one can give rapt attention who is not pure in mind. No one can be pure in mind who is not pure in action. No one can be pure in action who is not pure in eating, sleeping, fearing and mating. But somehow or other, if someone hears with rapt attention from the right person at the very beginning, one can assuredly see Lord Krishna in person in the pages of Bhagavatam. Right? So important that we have to follow the process. We have to be strict. Sometimes, this one man, American man, Allen Ginsberg, you know, he was a very well-known man in Prabhupada's time. So he helped Prabhupada to get his visa to stay in America when Prabhupada first went there. And he said to Prabhupada, he said, Oh Swamiji, you're very conservative. You have so many rules and regulations. And Prabhupada said, no. He said, I, we, we've hardly, we've, we hardly have any rules and regulations. Only four. He said, if we really wanted to be strict, we could have many, many rules and regulations. We have just four. Be pure in eating, sleeping, fearing and mating. Right? This is the main thing. So keep the four regulative principles and then everything can follow. Maharaj, 
comments. I have a humble request. Yes. Uh, just for you to please read one more time. Is is a very, very like like an injection. Well, it's, it's straight there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. I told you it's the third chapter. It's the last verse of the third chapter of the first canto Srimad Bhagavatam. Maharaj, you will not believe. I read the Bhagavatam several times this paragraph, but hearing from your pure uh, lips is really is very, very uh, hard, hearts really melts. I feel like that at this moment. So my, I'm begging at you, please read one more time. Please, Maharaj. Well, you know, I already sent you the overview of all these slides, so it's all there in the notes. Yeah. So you please kindly just you can, you stick with it. You've got the you've got the printout of it. I sent, we sent soft copies to everyone. You you should have it there. But the main point was, if if someone no one can be pure in action who is not pure in eating, sleeping, fearing, and mating. If someone hears with rapt attention from the right person at the very beginning. One can assuredly see Lord Krishna in person in the pages of Bhagavatam. Right? Thank you. Thank you. So, Srila Prabhupada's main instruction. <laughs> I got, Prabhupada, you know, he didn't expect us to just sit down all day and chant Hare Krishna. He knew that devotees couldn't do that. When he asked them to chant 64 rounds in the beginning, you know, the devotees said, oh, we can't do that. And so then they tried to chant even 32 rounds. They found that, no, we can't do it. So then Prabhupada reduced again. He said, oh, okay, at least you do 16 rounds. But that was minimum, no reduction after that. And then Prabhupada also wanted devotees would be busy all day, not just only distribute, not just only 16 rounds and then sit around, but he wanted us to go out and work, distribute his books. Tell people about Krishna. So by serving the mission of Srila Prabhupada, then we get a taste for hearing and chanting. The more we give the books to people, then the more we want to read them ourselves. Sometimes the devotees say, you know, all I did was distribute books. I never got a chance to read them and study them myself. So very important. We want to not only distribute them, we want to know them and distribute and di know well what's in them. Then we can be more empowered to distribute these books. We will understand more the value of these books. All right, so we we'll want to speak about this Upadesha Saram, right? What is Srila Rupa Goswami's Upadesha Saram? Okay, what is it? Who would like to answer? Marijis, Marijis always quick on the end. Who asks the Marijis? What is Rupa Goswami Supadesha Saram? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. Uh, to become pure devotees by following these instructions, Maharaj. Oh, well, yes, I'm, I'm definitely that would be there. But uh, how are we going to do that? What's the instruction? Hare Krishna. Yes, Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj. Yes. Read books, more books. More Read more books. Yeah, then we'll get we'll get the we'll get to know more about Krishna and mm -hmm. we'll get attached to Krishna more. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what, what are the books telling? The books are telling about Krishna, right? Yes. And they're telling, they're telling us also what to do. What are they recommending? Uh, Maharaj, can I try? No, you wait. We're talking. The managers are talking. Hello. Yes. Uh, uh, we should we should control our uh, control uh, the uh, control our mind. We should follow the instructions of the guru. And uh, then the four regulative principles we should follow strictly and we should chant. Yeah, right. What did we say was the most important instruction of the Guru? We should chant, we, sh uh, we should chant 16 times a day and we should follow the regulative principles, four regulative principles. 
Yes, right. So, why is, Rupa, what is Rupa Goswami Supadesha Saram, what is he telling us? When we read the verse at the beginning of the class, what was it? We have two. Yes. Marriages, marriages, yeah? 24 hours, what? He should introduce like the time 24 hours of the day in chanting and remembering Krishna. Right. So why is, why is this so? Why is this so? Why is this the essence of Rupa Goswami's advice? So that we'll get attached to Krishna. Yeah. We'll get more of it. Right. Yeah. We can read. Please read for us, Maharaji. Yes, Maharaj. The more we study the pastimes of the Lord, the more we become attached to Him. This very attachment to Krishna makes one eligible to be transferred to His support, O Loka Vrindavana. Krishna book, Summary of Krishna's Pastimes. Yeah. Right. We read the books, we become attached to Krishna. And the more we become attached to Krishna, the more we're qualified to go to Goloka. <clears throat> go ahead, Maharaji, read more. Uh, to remain always absorbed in Krishna consciousness was the standard of the inhabitants of Vrindavana. If we can simply follow in their footsteps, even to a minute propo minute proportion, our lives will surely become successful. Krishna book, chapter 46. Oh, yeah. This is Raganuga Bhakti, you see, following in the footsteps of these people of Vrindavan. The standard of the inhabitants of Vrindavan, they were so absorbed in Krishna, they all loved Krishna so much. So if we can follow in their footsteps, then that's the perfection of our life. Okay, now we're going to hear from Shiva Ram Swami, who wants to tell us something important about this. But Prabhu can read for us. After quoting the last one or three of the last paragraph of text 8, beginning with the Dasya Rasa, in which Srila Prabhupada quoted Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakura, Sivarama Swami writes, To be Krishna consciousness then means to qualify oneself for spontaneous devotion in one of the four mellows of Vrija Bhakti as exemplified by Krishna's eternal companions. Because, the, because this understanding is confidential, Srila Prabhupada rarely spoke of it in public and wrote about it only sparkingly in his books. Yes, because it is the essence of Krishna consciousness. His divine grace did talk about it, did write about it and it expect thoughtful devotees to understand and carefully pursue it. Sivarama Swami, Suddha Bhakti, Chintamani, number 40. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank, thank you, Prabhu. So, Sivaram Maharaj is pointing out, is it, you see some people, they say, no, this is not important. But Prabhupada wrote about it, Prabhupada talked about it. And Rupa Goswami says, this is the essence of all advice. So it's important. How to apply it in Krishna consciousness? We have to think about that. The mentality of practicing devotee. Some, now somebody's practicing with devotee. We want to move on. We want to go on from regulative to spontaneous practice. In other words, we may be doing, we're doing Vaidhi Bhakti according to the rules and regulations, but we want to go to the more advanced level of Raganuga Bhakti. Some people, not everybody, but some Now, what is the qualification? One qualification is, should be Nishta. You should up, be up here to this stage, right? Someone can read, what does it mean? 
Krishna. Nishta means after gradually purifying their hearts of unwanted things. Devotees achieve a steadiness visible not only in their physical conduct but also in their words and mental activities. All right. Do you remember the different stages of devotional service? It begins with Shraddha. And then after Shraddha, what's next? Yes, Lord. Sadhu Sangha. Adore Shraddha, Tata Sadhu Sangha, right? And then? No, before? Bhajana Kriya, then Anartha Navriti, and then? After Anartha Navriti comes? Right. So in other words, you have to have gone through Anartha Navriti. You have to have got rid of all the unwanted things. Right? He says, after gradually purifying their heart of the unwanted thing, this is the anartha navriti, getting rid of everything. And then you come to this steadiness, nishta. Right? So this is not easy. It's quite an advanced level. <clears throat> Go ahead, Prabhu, keep reading. Uh, although not yet fully free of immunities, these devotees, master of their mind and senses, are no longer forced to residual desires or bad habits. So mentioned here, they're not fully free, we still have some impurities, but we do have control over the mind and senses. Hmm? We don't have bad habits. <clears throat> so that's, that's, this is the, now we're going to hear about Shravanam. Somebody can read? Hare Krishna Maharaj. Shravanam. Diligently study Srimad Bhagavatam and respectfully hear of the many incarnations, but they are especially intrigued by Krishna's Vrindavana pastimes and thus repeatedly hear Sri Prabhupada, Prabhupada extol the unparalleled loving service of the Vrajivasi. Oh. So, they have a special taste for hearing about Vrindavan pastimes. Go ahead, Maharaji. Most devotees hearing in this way acknowledge the wonder and unique, uniqueness of Krishna's pastimes in Raja, but are not yet moved to do, to do more than hear about or discuss them. Right. Most devotees. But, go ahead. But a few devotees react differently. Heartfelt desires moves them when they hear Krishna's pastimes. They think, I would like to love and serve Krishna like the Vrajbasi. <laughs> right. Right. Who wants to be a Vrajbasi? <laughs> you like to be a Vrajbasi? Live in Vrindavan? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Are you able to make cow dung, take the cow dung, make cow, pa uh, make, uh, go cow dung patties and these things? <laughs> Live like the gopis, the rich basi people? Simple life. I have that experience. I have that experience. Oh, very good. You're lucky. All right. So, in order to do this kind of thing, you have to go to your guru. You have a have a have a guru. You go. To, you take instruction from your guru. Someone read. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Guru Shiksha. Revolve their minds to their gurus. Continue their same service, but mood has changed. Feel a desire to achieve the. Perfection of the Uraja, Urajavasi, and descriptions <coughs> of the Urajavasi service to the Krishna dominate their hearts and mind. Okay, so they have to go to their guru and tell their guru what they're feeling, that they have this desire, that they really want to develop this bridge basi mood. It's very strong in the heart. Keep reading, Prabhu. 
when guru is satisfied particular disciple have qualification he give them a suitable instruction okay so with the blessing of the guru go ahead even though vraja vraja bhakti is a spontaneous no one should enter its practice vimshely one should always do so under the spiritual master expert guidance right yeah you want to do this kind of thing yeah you want to do this kind of thing you got to do it with the guidance of the spiritual teacher spiritual master's approval has to be there so one thing you you really want to develop krishna consciousness one of the qualifications is we have to have that greed right greed that's a important qualification for krishna consciousness that you really want something badly you're really greedy to get it you have a greed so prabhupad oh shivanam swami describes what is this greed genuine greed not just greed you know to get name or fame but a genuine pure greed for the, to 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 become advanced more advanced in krishna consciousness someone read mariji oh okay prabhu go ahead go ahead prabhu yeah it is complete to distinct for anything not related to krishna sincere devotees anxious to hear constantly about to krishna quickly become different indifferent to the allurement of sense gratification and liberation because the bliss of remembering krishna and his associates is so powerful that is the that is uh, that it subdues all non devotional attachment sivaram swami suddha bhakti chintamani page 269 so he's describing this greed you have no interest in anything else except krishna we're so really at, at really eager just to hear about krishna and anything else we just have no interest at all so this is a very nice mood we want to develop that and no interest in sense gratification like right? just just simply want devotional service oh prabhupad describes from the nectar of devotion an important section here from nectar of devotion yeah prabhu can read hari krishna maharaj nadav pranam maharaj we must always remember however that such eagerness to follow in the footsteps of denizens of raja brindavana is not possible unless one is freed from material contamination when one is actually spontaneously attracted to the loving principles of the gopis there will be found no trace of any mundane contaminations in their character therefore in the beginning everyone should strictly follow the regulatory principles of devotional service according to the injunctions of the scriptures and the spiritual master only after the stage of liberation from material contamination can one actually aspire to follow in the footsteps of devotees in vrindavan nectar of devotion page 270 the prabhupada is describing you have to be at the stage of liberation you have to be liberated from material contamination then you can do this kind of thing so we understand that it's advanced giriraj swami he says if greed is there and we hear of the conjugal pastimes of the lord then it will be beneficial otherwise we will degrade into lusty thoughts shrila prabhupad would say in this regard instead of purified we will be putrefied <laughs> Prabhupada had this art. Prabhupada was so expert with these English words, you know. He said, instead of purified, we will be putrefied. 
just the opposite of purified, right? And so, uh, have to be very careful. That's the point. Hmm. Shiva Ramaswami argues, he said, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati fought vigorously against unscrupulous men and women who were practicing debauchery, sexual indulgence in the name of Raganuga Bhakti. Their vigorous preaching and prolific writings reinstated pure devotion to its rightful place as the topmost of spiritual practices. Without hiding or prohibiting the practice of Raganuga Bhakti, they cautioned sincere devotees about the risks of taking up such practices prematurely. So this is the problem. We, we jump into these things sometimes prematurely. Right? Prabhupada gave sannyas to young men in the movement and it, it was kind of premature for them. They were too young and they didn't really understand fully the responsibility. So later on, as they got a bit older, they couldn't maintain their vows of sannyas and renunciation. So premature transcendence. You have to be careful. You have to be qualified for it. So that's why we say, must be done with proper guidance. Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati recommend intense counter-propaganda. Present the right conception of spontaneous devotion and stem the tide of immature practice. He further explains spontaneous devotion, part and parcel of the soul, cannot be ignored. Instead should be understood through the teachings of Rupa Goswami by devotees surrendered to the lotus feet of their spiritual masters. So these are some points about this Raganuga Bhakti. It's described here, it's a very advanced thing. We should understand, it's important to understand. Did you, you must have studied it when you did Nectar of Devotion. Okay, so now we want, we're going to give you all some Responsibility. We we want to. Uh, how how will we do this? Um. So, who is the host? Uh, Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Prabhu, are you comfortable um, putting people into pairs using the breakout no. rooms? Sorry, Prabhuji. Are you comfortable with putting people into pairs? Okay. Okay, bro. Using breakout rooms, you can do that, yes? Yeah, bro. Okay, so why don't you then um, organize your breakout rooms? Uh, I know you have some um, people who are together already, so you can put them as a pair in a separate room. Each, each has... We want everybody in pairs and for people to do this role-play exercise, which Maharaj is going to describe now. And then you can break people out into the breakout rooms, they'll get some time to come back. Um, to think about the exercise and then come back with their role play. Maharaj won't be able okay. to hear, obviously, everybody's role play, but it's a, a good opportunity for people to kind of delve into this in a, a little bit more creative way. Okay, Prabhuji. I will, I will, uh, shall I read out the names of uh, devotees who are going to be in a role play in a pair? Uh, no, you can just put them... You, do you know how to use the breakout rooms in Zoom, Prabhu? Uh, no, probably. Okay, then would you like to do this? Would you like to make me the host? And then okay. you can you can read out the um, the names and then I will put them into breakout rooms. Yes? Okay, probably. Okay. Maharaj, do you want to go through the exercise yes. first? And I'll do this on my machine here. Alright, so can you do the Prabhu has a host? Sorry? No, no, no. For the Chidanan Prabhu, I'm telling Maharaj, sorry. Uh, all right, can everyone still hear me? Yes, Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj. Okay, so, you know, we want you to, you know, read through this role play. We've given this situation, described here in some detail here, because this is a, 
it's a very uh, important thing, and it, it, it may come up in your own life. In your own, sometimes we had a, it, we had cases of it in Iskon. We do have it in Iskon. It happens. You get senior devotees like here mentioned here, practicing devotee for the last thirty-eight and a half years. So he's gone through a lot in these years, turbulent times. He's been in the Grihastha Ashram. And he's in Iskon since after Prabhupada left. Things of, you know, Prabhupada left. It was chaotic for some time. Gradually, things have stabilized. Things are a bit better now. And so described here, he's experienced a, a high taste in chanting. And about t two years ago, started to read the conjugal pastimes in the tenth canto with great relish, conjugal pastimes. You know, he was reading Rasa Leela, the gopis. So your taste in reading prompted you to read extensively other writings of the previous acharyas about these conjugal pastimes. And then by Krishna's arrangement, you find two other devotees in the temple who are in similar situations spiritually. So you are now regularly meeting with them to read and discuss. You are thrilled with this internal awakening and you find yourself always meditating on the pastimes you have been reading and discussing. You feel so much ecstasy in this hearing and chanting that you want to go deeper and deeper into it. This is the most amazing thing you have ever gone through. You have also found a very high taste in your service, in which you are offering courses on Srila Rupa Goswami's teachings. Somehow or other, you are very excited about exploring your relationship with Srila Rupa Goswami and understanding his mood of devotion. You just heard from another teacher that Ramanuja Swami, the GBC for your zone, wants to meet with you. Apparently, some devotees have spread rumours that you have started a Gopi Bhava club and may be deviating with an ISKCON version of the Siddha Pranali process. Oh, maybe I should explain. Gopi Bhava club? We, we did have a case actually in Prabhupada's time. There was a Gopi Bhava club in Los Angeles temple. The do there were some devotees meeting and they were reading sections of the Chaitanya Charitamrita about Gopi Bhava, about the love of. Yes? Hare Krishna? So, Gopi Bhava, people want to imitate the mood of the gopis and they want to read the sections about the gopis. And then Siddha Pranali process, does anybody know about this? Have you heard of the Siddha Pranali process before? Who can explain for us? Any Prabhu? Do we have any men who know Siddha Pranali process? Nobody? You didn't cover this in Nectar of Devotion? Marajis? Is it related to Prakritya Sarajiyas Maharaj Bhagavan? Yes, you could say related to Prakritya Sarajiyas, yes. Siddha Pranali, I will explain the Siddha Pranali process is. They give a mantra to people and they say this mantra will allow you to meditate on your identity in the spiritual world. 
And they will tell you that maybe in the spiritual world you're a peacock or you're a cow or you're a gopi or, and they'll give you a mantra which will allow you to meditate on that particular spiritual identity. And so, you know, this is not authorized at all because this Siddha Pranali process, they give these mantras to people who are still neophytes, they're not at all qualified to meditate on their spiritual identity. They haven't got rid of the anarthas and they, they're still neophyte devotees, but they're still they're trying to meditate on their perfectional position. So that's uh, what they call Siddha Pranali. And so they were worried, people, some devotees are worried that this one devotee, or this devotee with his two friends, that they're having an isconversion of the Siddha Pranali process. So he's been asked by the GBC Executive Committee to investigate what, is, what you're doing. Now you have to justify your meeting with Ramanuja Swami, the practices you have begun from a shastric, parampara, and personal perspective, right? So this is what we want you to discuss. One of you has to take the part of the Ramanuja Swami, and the other one has to be the person who's doing the, you know, who's doing the, who's been a devotee 38 and a half years, and he's trying to, He's a very interested in Rupa Goswami and he's teaching courses on Rupa Goswami and he's also been reading about Gopi Bhava, he's been reading about the conjugal pastimes of Radha and Krishna. So he, he has to support it from Shastri, Parampara and personal perspective. A few final points. The mood in the meeting will be friendly and not confrontational. You will reveal your mind in confidence to a friend and senior devotee. Ramanuja Swami is your friend and senior devotee and looking for his advice. Be ready to field questions from your classmates at the end of the role play. Okay, so Prabhuji, would you like to read out the names of those who are already in couples? Would you, would you like to read out the names of those in couples? Okay, Prabhuji, I will, I will do it. Okay. Uh, Prabhuji, uh, this is uh, Dina Pavan Murari Prabhu and Pujita Hari Priya Mataji. Just one second, Dina Pavan Murari and? Yeah, Prabhu, Hare Krishna. Yeah, uh, yeah. just uh, you and your Mataji are the couple. For this, uh, Prabhu, actually, I was not clear what has to be done. This is a role play, Prabhuji, as a, uh, for the role play. What Maharaj has explained for the Prakritya uh, Sir, Prakritya Ji, or uh, uh, with the Ramanuja as a um, yeah, yeah. GBC yeah, yeah, yeah. Guru. So yeah. we have another uh, another uh, couple also. Prabhu, shall I read out the names? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, so next couple will be Arunash Chakuradas and Bindiya Mataji. And Divya Mataji. Yeah, Bindiya Mataji. Bindiya Mataji. I don't have Bindiya Mataji on my screen. Bindiya. Bindiya. Oh, yes. Okay, got you. Yes. Sorry, Prabhu. Just to add, like, Pujita is not with me, Prabhu. Okay, okay, just, okay one just one moment, I'll, I'll move her. Yeah. Wait a minute. Would you, we have, we have the next one. Okay, okay, Prabhuji. Prema Maya Gopi Veshya Prabhuji and Shubhangi Gopi Sugopi Mataji. Next one will be Raja uh, Vaibhav Krishna Das and Sumadhiri Shamma Devi Dasi, both are husband and wife, Prabhu. 
Can you might see it. Can Vraja you read that? Read that name again. again? Vraja Vaibhav Krishna Das. That's not coming up on my screen. Sumadhuri Shama name is there. That's Sumadhuri Shama is there, Prabhuji. Sumadhuri Shama. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Okay, got that one. Yeah, it's okay. Next one. Next one will be uh, Sushant, uh, Prabhu, uh, Sushant Samal Prabhu and Pushpanjali. It is under Pushpanjali name, Mataji name. Yeah, yeah. I'll move them. And Chidanand Janardhan Das Prabhu and uh, Sri Rupa Kamala, Mataji. Sri Rupa Kamala and Chidanand Janardhan Das is there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Next, we can add, it's, these are the couples we'll have, and then we'll have uh, uh, husband and wife, these two, and we'll have others like Uttam Krishna Das Prabhu, and we can have with the Tribanga Gopal Das Prabhu. Okay. okay. Next one. Next one. And uh, we'll have Sudarshan Janath, Sudarshan Vasudeva Das, Sudarshan Dari Vasudeva Das. Yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, Anand Sinna Prabhuji. Okay. Okay. And Arvindagri Krishna Das. Yep. Yep. With the Shiva Subramanyam. Shiva S is there, Prabhuji. Uh, yeah. 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 And last self myself, uh, this Balram Pikar Das with the Ajit uh, Madhusudan Das. That's Ajay Kumar. Ajay Kumar, Ajay Kumar and, and Balram Pikar Das. Himself, Father and Okay. Uh, so now, I'm still going to say this one here. Jyoti Maya Madhu Prabhu? Yeah, Jyoti Maya and Radha Ranjan. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, let me turn to another one here. Wasn't the night also left? Yeah, wasn't the night. Yeah, the night. He's a single project, he's the only one left. Okay, so maybe okay. I can assign him to another room. Maybe I can assign him to room 6. Yeah. Yeah. And then and this then is Shubhamai Harini Mataji. Yeah, Shubhamai Harini and Shubhamai uh, Pratish. They are the one couple, Roji. Okay, so, okay, so there is a separate room. room, room they are separate. Okay. Yeah. Both are in the same name. Okay. Okay. And then, and then somebody, somebody called uh, 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 Krishna Prabhu has just entered, so I'll just, 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 just let him in. It is Sumadhiri Shama Mataji. Sumadhiri Shama Mataji, same. Together. Together, Prabhuji. Okay. I think that's everybody. Has it? Has it? Has everybody, everybody got problems? problems? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Yes. 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 Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes. Yeah, Prabhu is not with me. Okay. Which, which, which Prabhu, Prabhu, Prabhu are you, you, you with? Pushpanjali and uh, Sushant Samal. So we can Pushpanjali Mataji with Vasant Naik Prabhu we can. So I will so Pushpanjali Mataji too. Vasant Vasant Naik. There are three rooms but that's okay. How many rooms? So there's, so there's um, um, so far, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone clear about what they have to do? No, sp no response. <laughs> we will go to something in a minute. If you turn your um, um, volume on, you might. Turn my volume on. Okay. That's it. That's it. Off. Is it off? Is it off? No, it's not. Is it off? No, I'll turn this off. Oh, you have to mute. If you can mute your. I can mute. Yeah. Let me be better. That's it. 
that said, now we don't get this echo. So would you like to come here? And then I can show you. You can move around the rooms and have a look and see what they're doing. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Why don't you sit here? Hare Krishna, it's good to see you today, you know, you're in now. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Vindya, Maniji. Interesting. Hare Krishna, can you unmute? You're muted. See you. Well, yeah, I'm just adjusting the screen so yeah. you can see me. That's it, yeah. Hare Krishna Prabhus. Oh, Hare Krishna. Yeah, you're the asset. Are you clear about what you're supposed to be doing? Okay. 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 
All right, just, just have fun doing this. That's what Mario wants yeah. to say, okay? Okay, so we're going to join another room now. I have to do so. Um, <laughs> okay, then. Okay. okay. They won't be to see Why don't you send it to me? And I'll quickly look at it here. And then I'll send it to you? Yes, yeah, send it to me. Send what? The whole slide? The whole The whole slide. The whole slide. Or the three rows Huh? I don't know how to send it. Yeah. Okay. Close just, the whole just, thing. Just send the whole thing, yeah. So I have to close down. Yeah. Just bear with us, we'll send that to you in a Which lesson was this, Maharaj? Lesson six. Lesson So I have to how can I uh, maybe I'll put it on a I'll put it on a thumb drive and give you the thumb drive? Yeah, you can do that.
So Prabhu's we can we say hello Prabhu, we'll come back to you shortly, yes? Yes, Prabhu. Right, but basically you have to do a role play where one person is meeting with the GBC, a senior devotee is meeting with the GBC who suspects that he has started up a Gopi Bar club, but actually he hasn't, and he has to explain what he's actually doing. Um, It's my Kingston. I don't know where my drive, the thumb drive is gone. Hmm. Okay, don't, don't worry, don't worry. We can, we can, let's go and visit another room, otherwise what will happen is you lose time. I kind of gave them a description, so maybe they'll pick it up. Let's go to a, another room. It must be in this thumb drive. Let me take this out. Is it NOI um, version 2? NOI, uh, PPT. PPT, yeah? Version 2. I think it's this one, isn't it? Lesson 6. Lesson 6, yeah. Let me just download it to my machine. Sorry about that delay, because we're working on two different machines and um, 
There we go. So basically your role was that you, the role goes that you just heard from another teacher that um, Ramanujaswami, the GVC field zone, wants to meet.